man says it's the end of time and the Mississippi River she's a gold dry you know, what I'm doing right now is probably as important as the bow you shoot or your equipment or anything else tree stand you hunt in and that's uh, getting out here and locating and seeing where the deer have moved to. If you, this is a big open, uh, you got one, two, three, four, five, you got five pretty good sized fields here. Uh, they just ain't moving where they was moving last week. Now they've changed. So I don't know what field they're using, but, but with this little property here, usually they went from field to field to field. Uh, you know, it's just like they, they, they hop from one to the other. If you sit for a couple of days and, they're, and they kind of got out of their normal pattern, what you want to do is just waste the evening, just waste the evening, you know, sit in your stand, get out here and use something called binoculars. Listen, if you ain't got a pair of binoculars, please go buy you some. Uh, get, get some good ones. I mean, don't, listen, the worst thing you can do, and believe me, I, I've had to pay the price. You know, <laughs> Hunt license is, is expensive now. I mean, even residents or even residentials is high. You know, here in my state, the rate you know, 18, you have to buy eighteen dollars uh, worth of tag, three different things, three, see, eighteen times three, uh, fifty-four dollars. You know, uh, or something like that. I think that's right. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not too good at math, but anyway, you know, uh, it's about eighteen dollars. You know, uh, well, you're looking at least about a hundred dollars just to get the hunt. A non-resident, you know, if you travel like I do and and, and you travel around hunt other states, you, you pay a lot more. Uh, but, yeah, man, I, and I, I know, I understand, you know, you gotta be cheap about some things. But don't waste money on cheap binoculars. I'd rather buy one good pair of binoculars and, and you know, be done with it than to buy 10 different pair of $30 binoculars at Walmart. And, you know, not knocking Walmart, but, you know, <laughs> I mean, just get you some good binoculars. I mean, get get you you know, get you some good ones. Uh, these were about a hundred dollars. They, they were. They, but I'll tell you one thing: they're they're really they're, they're good, and, and and they got a lot better ones than this. Um, and probably someday I'll get me some better ones. But these are these are pretty good binoculars, and I can look for a while. You know, I can I can I can I guarantee you, I can I can I can look. And the reason we're talking kind of loud, the fields are kind of way off. You know, we're not down here where the deer are at. We're up here, you know, pretty good ways. So they they, you know, they ain't gonna hear us. But uh, that's what these are for, you know. You just scout these edges, and uh, you know I, I should be up in tree stand. But listen, ain't no, look, I can't. Now I'm just type hunter, and I'll just be honest with you. I know some guys can do it. They can hunt. They can hunt. They can hunt the same stand for five weeks and see two deer. And I can't do that. I'm sorry. But if I sit there two days, and something, you know, it's time to get down, and move something else. Uh, and it's just I can't. I can't deal with it. I just can't. And so what I do is I just get out here and glass these fields, and. Uh, and you know, see, see, and see, and if they've moved, then I'll want to, you know, to try to get me another stand location somewhere else. But uh, just to get, just one little quick tip to give you: <sighs> get you some good binoculars and use them. You know, uh, get, get so that, that. What's going to happen is it's, it's kind of like cheap reading glasses. Now, now I, I I use reading glasses, but but if you go to, to the dollar store and buy you some reading glasses, your eyes are going to feel like just they're going out of your head you know within an, an hour of reading it, it is because they're not prescribed for your eyes and they're not quality glasses you know so you same way with binoculars you want some good quality binoculars that you can look you know and don't do this number even in a tree stand don't be doing this and the reason you do that because I know because I bought them that, that man that, that they kill your eyes you know them cheap little binoculars they will kill your eyes they will sit there and you, you, you'll you just you'll be doing this number you know because that hurts I mean it does but a good quality pair of binoculars you can look for for a pretty good you know amount of time and, and not kill your eyes and search these fields kind of move with the deer one quick just little little just little bow hunting tip I want to give to all you that, that watch the videos is get you some good quality binoculars and scout these you know scout these fields you know even pre-season when you're out in the summertime looking they will really help these are uh, these are uh, Nikons and they're and they're and they're good good binoculars they really are and I really like them and uh, I tell you I feel naked without binoculars I really do I feel like I ain't even got no hunting clothes on you know so I always make sure they're right there close to my heart and and you know where I can just throw them up and look 
and all I see is cows, cows, cows. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I guarantee you, we'll sit here to dark and we'll find out where they're moving. Then we'll take that Chippewa to stand and move. And that's the thing about that Chippewa stand, let me tell you, you can move. So you want a portable tree stand where you can move and then Chippewa stand's a good stand. So uh, I'm gonna sit on the car here and see what happens. Get you a good pair of binoculars. Because you can't stop us out and you can't make us run. Those windmill boys raised.